ويحكو عن الذي بالعجز أصيب من أطاعه تولاه من غفل عنه لا ينساه وله من الرزق نصيب يرزق بلا أسباب ويدخل الجنة بغير حساب فلا فضح ولا تنقيب وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله المقرب والحبيب خلقه نعمة ومبعثه رحمة وشمس سنته لا تغيب نظره لحظ وكلامه وعظ واللفظ منه لا يريب نوره يخطف الأبصار ومسجده علم ومزار وأنفاسه مسك وطيب من سلم عليه رد عليه السلام ومن صلى عليه فهو من الجنة قريب من رآه في المنام فقد رآه ومن بايعه فقد بايع الله القريب المجيب من نال شفاعته جتاز من نال شفاعته جتاز ومن شرب من حوضه فاز فلا عتاب ولا تأنيب وعلى الصحب والآل وكل من انتسب إليه من بعيد أو قريب أما بعد All prizes are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We prize him and ask him his aid We seek his guidance We ask him for forgiveness And we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala From the evil of ourselves And from our sinful actions Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides No one can lead us right and whoever he misguides, we fail not to guide him on the right path. I testify that there is no God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any partner. He gives life and causes death. He has power over all things. And I testify that Muhammad is his servant and messenger, the best of his creation, his most beloved. He delivered the message, fulfilled the trust, advised the nation, removed the darkness from it. And he's strong in the path of the religion until his death. My Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, his family, his companions, and those who have treated his path of excellence and following his guidance until the day of judgment. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, my respected fathers and mothers, Islamic education is a fundamental aspect of raising a Muslim child and instilling in them a strong connection to their faith. While schools and institutions play an important role in this process, the primary responsibility for a child's education falls on, sure, the parents. <laughs> and Bukhari rahimahullah narrated that Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Every one of you is responsible and will be questioned about his responsibility. A ruler is responsible and will be questioned about his responsibility. And the man is responsible for his family and will be questioned about his responsibility. A woman is responsible for her husband's property and their children and will be questioned about her responsibility. Every one of you is responsible and will be questioned about those who are placed under their responsibility. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara nara wa qudu annas wal hijara O oh, you will believe, save yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is mud and stones. A story was narrated that a man came to Umar ibn Khattab عنه, complaining of the undutifulness of his son. So Umar summoned the son to question him about that complaint. When the son came to Umar ibn Khattab asking him about his disobedience to his father, so the son said to Omar in the Khattab, Oh, Amir al muminin do children have any rights over their fathers? Omar replied, Yeah, children do have rights over their fathers. The son said, What are they then? Omar said, The father has to choose a good mother for his children to look after them and raise them. The father has to choose a nice name for his child so that the child feels proud of it. The father has to teach his child principles of Islam like the lawful and unlawful in Islam. 
And the father has to help his child to read and memorize the Quran. So the son said to Omar, my father failed to fulfill any of these rights towards me. He chose for me a mother who knows nothing about her religion. And he chose for me a name that I feel ashamed of among the people. And he didn't teach me any matters of my religion or any of the Quran. Then Omar ibn Khattab radiallahu looked at the man and said, Go away. It is you who has been the entity of our father. My respected fathers and mothers, in this khutbah, inshallah, today we will explore the role of parents in Islamic education and the steps that they can take to ensure that children uh, that they receive a comprehensive education. Firstly, creating a Muslim-friendly home environment. One, instilling Islamic values and traditions. Parents play a crucial role in instilling Islamic values and traditions in their children by creating a Muslim-friendly home environment. This includes praying together, reading and memorizing the Quran together, and observing religious holidays and celebrations, and living according to the principles of Islam. B. Encouraging an interest in Islamic studies. Parents can encourage their children to develop an interest in Islamic studies by providing them with Islamic books, educational materials and resources, and by engaging in discussions about Islam and its teachings. Secondly, providing a positive role model. This is very important. Like living according to uh, Islamic principles. Parents can provide a positive role model for their children by living according to the principles of Islam. This includes being kind, honest, and fair, and demonstrating a strong commitment to their faith. We lead it by example. Parents can lead by example by exhibiting Islamic values and practices in their daily lives. This helps to, re to reinforce the importance of these values and practices and instills them in, in their children. Thirdly, supporting Islamic education. Choosing the right Islamic uh, school or institution. Parents play an important role in selecting the right Islamic or institution for their children. The right Islamic school or institution to their children. They should consider factors such as the uh, curriculum, uh, teaching methods, and the school's commitment to providing a comprehensive education, uh, Islamic education. B. Encouraging and supporting Islamic studies. Parents can encourage and support their children's Islamic studies by providing them with the resources and materials they need and by uh, participating in their education by asking questions, attending parent-teacher conferences, and uh, providing feedback. Uh, fourthly, nurturing a love for Islam, encouraging a closer relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Parents can help their children to develop a closer relationship with God by encouraging them to engage uh, in daily prayers, to attend uh, Jum'ah uh, prior uh, and to read and memorize Quran here in the school or at home uh, and to participate in, in religious, in general, religious activities. Uh, fostering a love for Islam. Parents can foster a love for Islam in their children by teaching them about the religion in a positive and engaging way and by encouraging them to participate in Islamic activities and events. Barakallahu li wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ani wa iyyakum bima jaa fihi min al-ayat wa al-dhikr al-hakim aqulu ma sami'tum wa astaghfirullah al-Azim li wa lakum min kulli dhambin fastaghfiruh innahu huwa al-Ghafur al-Rahim.
الحمد لله رب الأرباب مسبب الأسباب مجر السحاب رازق عباده المؤمنين بغير حساب وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ولي الصالحين وأولي الألباب وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أوحى إليه ربه وأتاه الكتاب صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه Respected fathers and mothers, in conclusion, the role of parents in Islamic education is crucial by creating a Muslim-friendly home environment, by providing a positive role model, by supporting Islamic education, and nurturing a love for Islam. Parents play an essential, an essential role in ensuring that children receive a comprehensive and well-rounded education. It is important that the parents take their responsibilities seriously and make a concerted effort to provide their children with the foundation they need to lead successful, fulfilling and pious lives. As some of you brothers know that our Sabirin Islamic School, Alhamdulillah, started receiving students during this week, and Alhamdulillah, students actually started studying, whether it is a full-time school, Alhamdulillah, or a part or a type of school. So for more information and details, please, you can contact the board or the imam. For uh, you know, information about registration, about the schedule, and so on. Dear fathers and mothers, raising up children on Islamic foundations, is it without reward? Sure. Whether in this life or in the year after, for this life they are the joy and the comfort of your eyes if they are sure, righteous and obedient. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Al-Furqan, وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا أَبْدَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنْ وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتْحَدِينَ and those who pray, our Lord, grant unto us wives and offspring will be the comfort of our eyes and give us the grace to lead the righteous. And as for the reward in the hereafter, it is greater. Imam Muslim, rahimahullah ta'ala, narrative in his Sahih that Abu Huraira reported the Messenger of Allah peace and blessings be upon him, said, when the human being dies, these deeds end, except for three, ongoing charity, beneficial knowledge, or a righteous kid, a righteous child who prays for him. Allahumma wafiqna lima tuhibu wa tarba. Allahumma inna nis'aluka al-huda. والدقى والعفاف والغنى ونعوذ بك من الضلال والفجور والزنا ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا ظلما كثيرا فرحمنا واجعلنا ممن يذكرك كثيرا ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا أصلحنا وأصلح لنا ذرياتنا واجعلهم هداة مرتدين بوالديهم بارين وبدينهم معتزين ومفتخرين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقيم الصلاة